Hey, Kerry here again. Wanted to take the opportunity today to talk, um, to actually respond to a email I received, a comment on one of my videos relative to my purchase of a thousand shares of Zillow several months ago. And um, the commenter pointed out that I'm down about 30% on my investment. And that's true. Um, and I, 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 I guess I want to, having been in the financial planning business and studied the stock market over the years, I recognize that the analysts are often um, are not as up to date on what's going on with a particular company as you might hope they would be. I happen to work in the real estate industry every day and uh, I have a Google Alerts that um, puts on my email um, a message every morning of what Google did, or excuse me, what um, Zillow did the preceding day. And I, I'm, I'm quite, quite honestly, I'm very comfortable with my investment. And as I pointed out to the uh, commenter, um, four years ago, I bought 100 shares of uh, Amazon.com at $800 a share. And I think today it's worth somewhere around one uh, $1,400 a share. That was four years ago. Um, actually, I've added to it. I've now got an additional 130 shares. So why am I so confident of my investment in Zillow, particularly that I believe that uh, they're eventually going to put a lot of us out of business? And I'd say it's roughly 50% of those people selling, selling, um, Real estate today won't be in the business in four or five years ago. So so bringing you up to date, um, within the last week, um, Zillow has announced that they're going heavily into video, that they're going to make it easy for us real estate agents to attach a video um, walk through the house. They've uh, bought the software. They're going to make it to, available to us three for free. It was curious to me that they didn't um, decide to do that through uh, the MLS. That's who their relationship w has been with up until this point, but they chose not to do that. They want to deal directly with the agent. I found that a little bit uh, curious. Let's leave it at that. Um, the other thing that I think uh, they have, they're expanding their instant offers, I really think this is the key to where, where Zillow is going. Um, I should also, uh, a lot of people don't think that's a place to go. Why in the hell would Zillow be involved in flipping homes? Well, Gary Keller just announced this week that uh, Keller Williams is going to have such a program that that if I go out and meet with an individual and uh, they want to sell their house for cash, that I have a program that I can subscribe them to and, and, and get that done. Do I think I'm going to get the same kind of commission I get if I sell it under the normal channels? No, I don't think so. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, that, isn't, that hasn't been disclosed quite as of yet, at least not to me. Um, one of the reasons that Zillow stock dropped so dramatically was uh, that they got into the, uh, the mortgage business. And, and again, the analysts, the people who know all this, saw this as a bad move. Well, the analysts don't understand that Z Zillow came up against a wall. Uh, there are only so many houses that go up for, on the, uh, for sale um, in the United States in a, in a given year. Now, they have expanded to, to Canada, and that would be present some growth opportunities. But again, it's a limited quantity. It, it's very definitive. Uh, so their potential for selling leads is somewhat limited. Uh, it's, it, it, it's like selling ketchup. You can only sell so much of it. If you want to grow, you need to go into mustard. Um, so Zillow, I think, recognized another thing that I've been preaching about for three years and I've been getting slapped around by it. And that's the baby boomer sell-off. The largest population in the history of mankind, the baby boomers, uh, here in the United States, 79 million of them, are trying to sell their houses. That's the market I choose to, to deal in. And I choose to do it because they're having a problem selling them. Uh, that problem evolves from one day in my 
young youth, and that was May the 6th in 1960, and that was the day that the Food and Drug Administration approved the sale of the first birth control pill. Oh, <laughs> that was... That was big. Uh, as a result of that, Generation X is 25% smaller than uh, the boomer generation. So your buying pool, the people who should have come up and bought the baby boomers' houses, it, it isn't there. Uh, add to that the financial distress we put them in, uh, the boomers put them in, um, as a result of the subprime crisis, and they, they aren't anxious to buy the boomers' big homes. Think about why the boomers built those homes. That was my generation. Uh, um, in 1998, roughly, 96, 98, we hit our peak earning years. Um, for a lot of us, our kids were out of college. Um, we had some money. And um, we wanted to show the rest of our boomers that we had, we had made it. So we went down and Outside our cities, built a gated community with golf courses, tennis courts, and uh, swimming pools for a perfect family life. And we built our McMansions. Um, and now, uh, starting in 2011, the first one of us turned 65, and now we want to sell them. Uh, as I said, Generation X isn't as big. The millennials certainly aren't going to buy them. They, they have an average of $20,000 worth of uh, education debt that they're carrying. Um, so who's going to buy them? Well, Zillow puzzled on that question as well, I suspect, and they said, um, maybe we should buy them. Maybe these homes haven't been updated the way they should be, and maybe um, we can go in and we can say, hey, Carrie, you're a baby boomer. Uh, you moved into this house in uh, 19, I believe it was 89. You haven't really kept it up like you should. So you want to sell it and you want to sell it uh, quick. Um, so you better put $50,000 of, of renovation into it. No, I don't think I want to do that. That's a risk. I'll paint those kitchen cabinets the wrong color. I don't want to do that. I, and I'm certainly not going to hire a decorator, and I'm certainly not going to stage it. So, well, Zillow says, well, and now Gary Keller is going to say, um, Carrie, we'll buy it from you. Uh, we'll pay you cash, you move out. We've got all the technology. We can stage this house virtually uh, the day you move out. Uh, we'll come in and we'll put this thing on our website and, and then uh, then we'll get the construction people in here and the updates, which would have taken you six to eight months, we'll get done in maybe six to eight weeks. And uh, we'll have this house on the market and we'll turn it. And we'll turn it fast because we can put it on the market cheaper than you can and uh, we can get the work done cheaper than you can and we'll turn it. Now, why would they want to do that? They aren't going to make that much on the house. No, they aren't. But remember, they got the finance company now. Within the next six months, they're going to, they're going to get the title company. They're going to set up a group of lawyers. They're going to do the closings. So they're not only going to get the commission on the house, which we kind of assumed, they're going to get the title. They're going to get the closing. And I'll bet you they're going to offer the new owner homeowner's insurance, and they'll even bundle with their car insurance. Now they're not talking about just a commission on the sale of the house. They're talking about a continuing source of income and building a lasting relationship with these homeowners who we know are going to buy another house in another six to eight years. Well, who do you think they're going to come to? Are they going to come to me, the unknown agent? Or are they going to come to their Zillow agent, who all, by the way, has a office in the shopping center and has videos on all the homes? So I, the buyer could come to the shopping center, sit in a lazy boy chair, be served a beer, and tour 15 homes. Wow, how does that sound? Does it sound like maybe they know what the hell they're doing? The CEO um, just recently reported earnings of $1.5 billion and then turned around and said, within five years, 
we're going to turn that into $22 billion. How do you think they're going to do that? Now you know why I bought a thousand shares of Zillow and I'm not worried that I'm down 30%. This is another Amazon.com. This is another Netflix. This is a group of people who figured out how to do something that has been do being done for the same way for over a hundred years. They figured out how to change it and how to bring it up to modern technology and how we're going to find it very convenient to have them write a check and buy our house. And then you're going to find it very convenient to come in and have a totally renovated home in a beautiful neighborhood. And then you're going to find it convenient for them to bundle all your insurance, probably your life insurance as well. They'll probably even give you a special offer on bundling your phone, your internet, and your TV. Wow. That's a continuing source of income. And now it might only be $200 a month, but it's for the rest of your life. Folks, you're looking at a major change in the way houses are sold. Now, are they going to be able to do that for the million-dollar home or the $2 million home or the $20 million home? Probably not. So there will be a boutique of conventional, very bright, very savvy real estate agents that will survive this. Guess who's one of them? If I should live so long. But I'm going to train and I'm going to teach real estate agents how this is going to happen and how you can benefit from it. And that's why I've developed a new website called bestofusagents.com. And I'm offering a free, and let me emphasize the word free, a free email training course that you can keep up with what's going on and how to take advantage of this baby boomer sell-off. Because trust me, I'm one of them. Starting in 1923, 9,000 of us will die a day. Now, we have the choice right now to age in place, but that choice won't be available starting in 1923. And the largest transfer of wealth in the history of mankind will happen. The largest transfer of wealth in the history of mankind. And you're going to have 79 million homes come to market that were going to be need to be sold. And Zillow and Instant Offers and Keller Williams are going to be standing there with a checkbook. Now, where are you going to fit into this equation? I'm not sure. But i am got my ear to the ground. I get a Google Alerts every day on what Zillow is doing. And I don't charge for it like Inman does. Those people need to wake up. Okay, that's where I'm at. That's what I'm doing. What are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? Go to bestofusagents.com. While you're there, buy my book. You're going to learn more than you've learned in the last 10 years. Okay, go out there and do it. Go.